Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in superposition theorem. The first problem, using superposition theorem, find the current through 4 ohm resistor in the given circuit. So this is the given circuit with voltage source and current source. We are going to use superposition theorem to find out the current through this 4 ohm resistor. Okay. So in the solution part, in superposition theorem, the first step is to select only one source at the time. The rest of the sources like the voltage sources short circuited and the current sources open circuited. Do you all understand this one? So here in the first step, we are going to consider this voltage source alone at the time the current sources open circuited for further simplification. Okay, so here in the first step, we are going to find out the current through this 4 ohm resistor that is I dash due to only this 24 volt at the time 10 amps is open circuited. Okay, do you all understand this concept? Then the same circuit can be drawn like this. Here the current source is open circuited. Okay, so here these two resistors are in series. So here we can consider the amount of current from the voltage source is flowing through this 12 ohm that is equivalent to this 4 ohm. These two are in series. So according to Ohm's law, the I dash is equal to voltage 24 divided by the total equivalent resistance of the circuit. So since these two are in series, we can consider 12 plus 4 that is 16. Then we can get the I dash value that is the current through this 4 ohm resistor due to this 24 volt is 1.5 ampere. So the next step we are going to find out the current through 4 ohm resistor due to the 10 amp current source. So at the time the voltage source is short circuited that is the condition correct. So here we are going to find out the current through 4 ohm resistor due to the current source 10 ampere that is I double dash. Here we can say the current from this 10 ampere is getting divided between these two branches. So current through this 4 ohm resistor is I double dash due to this 10 ampere source. So here we are going to use current division rule. So what is current division rule? So we can take the total current multiplied with if we are going to find out the current through this 4 ohm, we can consider the opposite resistor. Okay, so here the total current is 10 multiplied with 12 ohm divided by the total resistance in the circuit. So here we can get 120 by 16. Then we can get I double dash is equal to 7.5 ampere. Okay, current division means here we can consider the opposite resistance value okay and the last step is to add the current through 4 ohm resistor due to 24 volt and also the current source that is the current through 4 ohm i is equal to i dash plus i double dash the answer is 9 ampere do you all understand this concept the next problem Using superposition principle, find the current through 5 ohm resistor in the given circuit. So this is the given circuit with two voltage sources, 50 volt and 25 volt. We are going to use superposition theorem to find out the current through this 5 ohm resistor. Okay, so in the solution, the first step is to find the current through this 5 ohm resistor due to this 50 volt voltage source at the time this 25 volt is short circuited. Do you all understand this one? So here we are going to find out the current through this I dash. Okay. So here we can simplify this diagram to find out the total current flowing through this circuit due to this 50 volt that is I50. So for that we can simplify this circuit. 
okay so here this 5 ohm and 3 ohm these two resistors are in parallel we can simplify it using parallel formula so 5 ohm in parallel with 3 ohm can be written like this 5 into 3 by 5 plus 3 then we can get 1.875 which is replacing this parallel connection so here we can get 10 ohm in series with this 1.875 so since these two resistors are in series, we can simply add this one. So we can get 11.875 ohm. So this is the voltage. This is the equivalent resistance. From this, we can find out the current due to this 50 volt to the circuit. So according to Ohm's law, here I is equal to V by R. So 50 divided by 11.875 is equal to 4.2 ampere. That is the total current flowing through this circuit. So next we are going to find out the current through 5 ohm resistor due to this 50 volt. So here we can use current division rule because this total current is getting divided between these two branches. So this one is I dash. So I dash is equal to the total current is 4.2 ampere that is multiplied with the opposite resistor that is 3 ohm divided by the sum of these two resistance values we can get the I dash due to this 50 volt as 1.58 ampere do you all understand this one so current division you have to remember that we can take the opposite resistance for its calculation okay in the next step we are going to find out the current through 5 ohm resistor due to 25 volt so that is represented as I double dash. So here we can consider the 25 volt at the time the 50 volt is short circuited. Okay. So here the total current flowing through the circuit is only through this 5 ohm. So we can take this value as I double dash. That is can be further divided between these two branches. So here we are going to simplify the circuit to find out this I double dash so for that we can find out the total equivalent resistance of the circuit so here this 10 ohm is in parallel with this 3 ohm so this in turn series with this 5 ohm so this resistance can be written like this so total equivalent resistance is equal to 10 in parallel with 3 plus 5 so here plus represents the series connection okay so here we can simplify the term parallel means 10 into 3 by 10 plus 3 plus 5. We can get the total equivalent resistance as 7.31 ohm. Okay. So then this circuit can be drawn like this. So here 25 volt in series with this 7.31 ohm. So here the direction is towards this. Okay. So according to Ohm's law, I double dash is equal to voltage by the resistance value so 25 by 7.31 then we can get i double dash is equal to 3.42 ampere do you all understand this one so in the last step we are going to find out the total current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor due to 50 volt and 25 volt so in this circuit here we can have this 5 ohm like this right so one is from 50 volt, one current is from this 50 volt, then another current is from this 25 volt. So here I dash is in this direction, I double dash is in this direction. So here we can consider the total current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor is nothing but the difference between I dash and I double dash. So we can get the difference value as 3.42 minus 1.58 that is 1.84 ampere. Do you all understand? So here in this problem we can have two voltage sources. So here we can take this resistor. So one current is flowing through this direction another one is in opposite direction. That's why we are taking difference.